Hello everyone! Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 38 through 42, where it is written. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evildoer. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. If anyone wants to sue you and take your coat, give your cloak as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go also the second mile. Give to everyone who begs from you, and do not refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. It's easy to take this text in English and say, okay, Jesus wants us to be a doormat. Actually, no, that's not what this means. The 20th century figure Mahatma Gandhi was deeply inspired by this passage of scripture. And he inspired, you know, in turn, Martin Luther King Jr. What this text is talking about is not being a doormat, but you have to know the cultural context. Take someone, uh, turn the other cheek, think about it. If you hit someone in the back of your left hand, you're doing this. You turn it there, they would have to hit you with their right hand. What does that have to do with anything? In this culture, the left hand is what you did unclean things with. They didn't have toilet paper. You cleaned yourself with your left hand. It was like, yeah. The left hand had a very negative connotation. You hit an inferior person, a slave, someone beneath you with your left hand. But turning your right, you force them to hit them with your right hand. That You treat your equal with your right hand. So it's not fleeing from the aggressor. It's saying, no, I'm turning your aggression back on you. You had to face me as an equal now. Uh, conversely, uh, if, someone, if anyone forces you to go with them one mile, go with them two miles. In the culture, any Roman soldier could take any person and say, you, you must carry my military equipment one mile. And the citizen had to do it or else. It was also the law that they went farther. That by law, the soldier would have had to pay that person who was carrying their military equipment. So you see, this is never about being a doormat. It's about subversion, beating evil at its own game. Case in point, the life of Jesus Christ. When people chose to walk away from God, they introduced death into the world. For God's the source of life. You cut yourself off from the source of life, you get death. And God's like, I'm going to reverse this. How? I'm going to become human. The sins people commit, I'm going to forgive them at the cross. I'm going to die. Therefore, I'm going to go into the realm of the dead. I'm going to defeat the forces of evil. And when I rise again, all people will now rise with me. Death is now temporary. Life is now eternal. So Jesus Christ, by his own example, subverts. He wants to destroy death. He doesn't just snap his fingers and say, fine, we're all immortal now. That way we'd have learned nothing. We'd be immortal sinners spiraling into deeper and deeper and deeper misery. So rather he becomes human. He forgives us our sins at the cross. <sighs> Repent. Trust me, you want to. And then he destroys death from the inside out. There's a beautiful liturgy in Eastern Christianity for Easter, or Pasha as they call it. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, or by dying, into those in the tombs bestowing life. Jesus here isn't just giving you a high-minded ideal. He's describing, uh, he's foreshadowing what he's going to do destroying death by dying, by rising, bringing all people with him. Now, we don't deserve it. He should, I mean, if things were fair, he should have let us rot. But God is love. He's so loving, frankly, he's unjust. He forgives us over and over. So why resist? Why just uh, keep contributing to a futile system? Now is the day to repent. Enjoy this divine subversion to bring about his kingdom. Let us close with prayer. Lord, it's a sick world. Help us, by your people, call to you by repentance to join you in bringing about the world that you would like to, you would like everyone to have. Amen.